Hi, this is Cheryl for Cut at Home. Today I want to show you some dyes made by a company called Leanne Creative. Hopefully I'm even close to pronouncing that correctly. Um, they market under the name Lee Abilities and other names, Lacrea and some things like that. You'll see various names on the dyes, but the Leanne Creative is pretty consistent on them. This card is made using a couple of those sets. One gave me the pine branches here and the other the beautiful dimensional pine cones. Look at those. They're beautiful layers, but they look so lifelike on here. Most of the pine cones that you see are lifelike, but they're rolled. Um, they're made using, this is the pine cone die here. Um, it's got four different pieces. So you start with the large base piece. This is the second piece that goes on, the third piece and then finally the last one. So you can see there's a lot of detail in these dies um, that you can emboss in, that you can stencil in. Um, when I made my card, I also, after I cut each of the pieces, I edged each of the pieces with a contrasting ink to also add some dimension and interest to the um, pine cone itself, but very, very easy to use, easy to cut. Um, again, with this set here with the holly, there's the pine branches that I used and I simply cut two of each of those pine branches and layered them down at the bottom to give me a little bit of a pine swag going on there. Um, here's another card that I made, this one using a die set that's acorns and oak leaves. Um, here's the die set here. Again, everything's there, the wonderful detail. The cutting is beautiful. The embossing detail is beautiful. Again, you can just emboss by running it through your machine at the same time you cut, essentially, if you've got a tight sandwich. And then you can add some detail through those spaces in the dies, or you can pull them, the paper out of the dies and add the detail after that. Either way, whichever method suits you but very, very easy to achieve a very cute card. Here's a favorite of mine for the season. This is a fireplace. Um, and while hard to see on this side, let me just flip it over and show you the back side here. Um, this die set has everything you need to make this little scene here. It's got the stone fireplace, the flames and the logs, the stockings, the two candles, sorry, the wooden mantle here, as well as the wreath everything is in there so it's very very cool not many manufacturers give you everything you need to do that particular scene here's a set of candles i think these are also gorgeous for the holidays um, i think a couple of these placed with some of the holly that we saw in the previous set and the little bow here at the top would make a beautiful card um, they have some frame sets. I love this one in particular. It's sort of a round frame. You can see there's a bow here that can go at the top to complete this, um, but a very cute ribbon frame. It adds a lot to your cards. And then a couple of banners that can be used for you know, tiny sentiments. Come on, they're, they're little, but yet sometimes that's exactly what you need and it works good. Um, this is a snowflake or star set that they have available. So you have the basic pieces that are star shaped. There's a couple of them throughout here and the rest are other pieces that you can put with to make these wonderful dimensional stars or snowflakes. You can see here many of the choices that you have, but like no two snowflakes are the same, you could have the same with this set. Very, very cool. Leaves a lot up to you to make it work. They also have beautiful flowers. This is a poinsettia set. I love that it's beautifully done. You've got sufficient detail here. You can see the detailing, the veining in the leaves that will make beautiful lifelike poinsettias in paper. Let me flip it to the reverse side because they always show you a paper version of the flower as well as a felt version. And on the reverse, they also give you the instructions for where to do your little stitches to make those felt flowers come to life and look lifelike. You know, you want to have a little dimensionality and if you don't put a few stitches in, the felt's gonna lay flat. Um, this is the daisy flower. Again, two different views. Here's the paper. And on the back is the felt. 
as well as the instructions. This is a little felt daisy that I created using that set. Absolutely gorgeous and took almost no time whatsoever. Very, very cool flower dies. Um, this is one of their multi flowers. Again, on the front, the paper view. On the back, typically the felt view, although sometimes the paper with it. Again, all to achieve the dimensionality you see in the felt, they give the instructions below. You're going to need to use your own skill set to achieve the dimensionality in the paper, and you absolutely can do it. This is a pansy set. Again, directions on back. I love the little birdies in this set. I think they make a perfect um, spring addition to a card. Um, and then my last one is just kind of a little whimsical set with some deer and some trees. So lots and lots of fun. Again, those are the Lee Abilities, Lacrea, Leanne Creative, beautiful dies, um, wonderful dimension, easy to use, no sticking with these. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.